This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an effects overview for Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you three simple ways to fix color problems in Premiere. One to change the look, another to fix exposure, and a third to correct color problems. I want to showcase very quickly the Lumetri color panel. We'll use creative looks to change the look of a clip. We'll automatically set grayscale values to fix a problem, automatically fix color problems with another single mouse click. But for an in-depth look at color grading in Premiere, take a look at webinar 279. I spent an entire hour explaining how to use the color tools in Adobe Premiere Pro and how to read scopes. Let me show you how all this works. This first shot is courtesy of two real guys. It's from episode one, and this is called the dead body scene. And he's dead. <laughs> Problem is, he didn't want to die for his art, so I got to make it look like he's dead. So I'm going to select the clip, and rather than go to effect controls or effects, we're going to go to the color panel and go somewhere totally different that we haven't seen before. Inside creative here, we have a panel called Looks. Even if you don't understand how the color tools work, you can apply a look. For instance, let's go find Blue Cold. And even without us understanding what changes were made, there's a different visceral emotional reaction to looking at that shot than the warm one that we saw earlier. Or let's go back and rather than choose Blue Cold, let's choose Bleach LDR. HDR would be high dynamic range. LDR is low dynamic range. Oh, much more of a film noir lit by bad light kind of feeling. Or let's say we really do want a film noir. Go back to here. Oh, nope. Go back to here and go down and just do noir. Whoa. Look at the different emotional reaction you get just by applying a different look. If you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, take it out. If you don't want it at all, go back up and say none. And you've reset it back to where you were. But I like that really dark, stark look. Well, here's another problem. And our scopes show us our white levels are way low. There's The grayscale values here are just not correct. How can we fix grayscale values? Go to Basic Correction and click the Auto button. Look at what just happened. Look at our saturation levels are popping up. Our grayscale values are up. This is before and this is after. Before and after. A single button called Auto. Well, what Auto does is it takes what's there and just makes it bigger. But it doesn't fix the problem. Here, I've got a problem. This image is both dark and blue. Select the image, go to basic correction, click auto, and now we've made it brighter, which is exactly what we want, but it's still blue. To fix the blue part as part of basic correction, select the white balance selector, click the eyedropper, and click something that's supposed to be gray. I'm going to go with the concrete here. And look at the difference. This is before, and this is after. Notice I'm clicking the FX button. This temporarily turns it off, and that turns it back on. Is that not cool? There are tons of color tools inside the Lumetri color panel, but just these three, changing the look, doing an automatic grayscale setting, and doing an automatic white balance can solve a lot of very basic lighting and grayscale problems with your clips. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an overview of all the different effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 303. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library can save you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash 
membership. And thanks.